In this video, you'll explore the capabilities of Amazon Location Service. With this fully managed service, you can easily add location data to your applications, build applications that provide sophisticated location-based functionality, and maintain control of your organization's data for privacy and security. To get started, let's navigate to Amazon Location Service. Amazon Location Service makes it easy to add location data to your applications without sacrificing data security and user privacy. You can add capabilities such as maps, points of interest, geocoding, routing, geofences, and tracking to your applications. Amazon Location's location-based services use high-quality data from global, trusted providers Esri and Here Technologies. Let's explore how the service works. The Amazon Location Explore page is an interactive tool that you can use to start experimenting with the service. The tool automatically creates a map, a place index, a geofence collection, and a tracker in your AWS account. We'll take a brief look at each. This draggable, zoomable map provides an example of how location data might appear in your web application, depending on how you customize it. Place indexes allow you to search for specific addresses or points of interest. Let's search for Seattle. As you can see, the map is now centered in Seattle, with pins designating the top results for that search query. Let's try Piccadilly Circus in London. Selecting one of the pins provides details about that specific location. Geofence collections give your application the ability to detect and act when a tracked device enters or exits a defined geographical boundary. For instance, a notification might be triggered to let a customer know that a package delivery is imminent. Let's locate St. James's Park on this map and create a geofence around it. When the geofence is crossed, Amazon Location will automatically send the exit or entry event to Amazon Event Bridge, which can then trigger downstream actions. We can use the Tracker feature to simulate a user entering the geofence. We'll link the tracker to the geofence, and then use the truck icon to simulate a tracked device entering the geofence's boundaries. Each time we click on the map, a location update for the simulated device is sent to the tracker. As you can see, moving the device into the geofence has triggered an entry event. Let's move the device out of the geofence. Now an exit event has triggered. This simulation demonstrates how you can use geofences to react to location events in near real time. Let's take a quick look at how to add location features to your application using an SDK. Notice that a variety of different SDKs are available for embedding locations into your web application. You can also use an API to integrate Amazon Location Service into your application. For our purposes, let's go back and see how you can manage your location resources. We'll take a look at our maps. Right now, we only have the map that was automatically created for us. Let's create a new one. As you can see, we can create maps in a variety of styles, each with different visual emphases. In this case, let's create an Esri street map. Like the previous map, our new map is fully draggable and zoomable and has its own Amazon resource name, or ARN. You've just explored Amazon Location Service. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.